Yes, we're continuing through Revelation Mountain here. I didn't get a prompt for saving that time. Uh oh god. Oh, you're asleep. Oh, thank goodness. I don't make you awake. Um Ooh. Yoink. Oh man. New super boss apparent. There's a new super boss in Octopath 2? It's battle against main characters in the first game who actually have jobs from the first game. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's confirmed that Ulbrich is Warmaster, Trista gets Rune Lord, Ophelia gets Scholar, and Elfin gets Hunter. To the canon classes. Interesting. Yeah, I've heard you just beat them. It took a whole hour to beat them. Jeez. Yeah, I don't. Even with, like, new content, I still don't think I'm coming back to Octopath Traveler 2. Come on! I think I've kind of said screw that game. And I also don't want to add anything else to the schedule. With the way that things currently are. You know? Kind of the case that Tristan most enjoy because she can buy your weapons and take all of your money during battle. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Whoa. But yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Never played Octopath 2 because the first game pissed you off too much. Well, the uh, the first game didn't piss me off too much, but the second game really pissed me off. Oh, there's an item that was dropped back there. I'm too lazy to go back and get it. But yeah. My goodness. Yeah, I I think I just don't really want to touch Octopath Traveler 2 ever again with the way that I left that off at. It's kind of what I'm feeling for it. What's this? Super critical. How many apples do I have? I don't know. How many multi-hits are here? I got pin missile in the beginning, but like, whatever. I'm What? Level up! What? All I did was walk! Can anyone explain what just happened? I get experience as I go? I proceed. I am very quite confused. Arbos, ooh, cool. It had some redeeming qualities, but it was just a land of annoyances. Yeah, fair. No! Okay, save state. I'm actually getting frustrated with this dungeon. You know, I was in a great mood after finally getting my truck on the road after nine months of being broken down and bashing my head against that. But this dungeon is somehow finding a way to make me not so hyped up anymore. Pokemon, uh-oh. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon just kind of tries to find a way to do that. Does holy crap. I You know what? We're manipulating the laws of time, so screw it. I ah! But yeah. Yeah, it seems interesting that they do that kind of randomly all this time later. But they're not convincing me to come back. I uh I now have a love-hate relationship with, uh... Ooh, Oxbeth Traveler 2, and I don't think I can see us getting back together again. Quite frankly. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even rushing, it's just room-hitting moves. But screw me over. It's not even the rushing part. Whoa. Warp payback, oh heck yeah. Uh... Right, doing that. Maybe I should have given myself the six slot looplet. Maybe I'll start doing that in the next dungeon onward. But yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds kind of awful. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't care how much extra content you add. I'm not playing Oxbath 2. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel right now. That's kind of how I'm feeling at this point. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, let's punch. I only have a couple noms left. Thank you, Intimidator. So I kind of want to save my noms in case there's a Drift Blim jerk around here again. Okay. Why is your memory telling you this dungeon is 16 floors? I guess we'll find out if that's the truth. You better stop that. Nice dizzying stare. Stupid pit of. Yoink. Oh, there was a dude here. Please, deal with it. Deal with it, please. But yeah. 
Jeez, and Galdir, I already could not beat, like, after so many attempts and so many different strategies. I was gonna get to the next floor and eat. Maybe I should have. <laughs> but I I forgot then. We've climbed up quite a ways. There's still been no sign of Crocodile. I can hardly see through all the trees. Ah, there's some light over there. I reckon there could be a clearing just there. Go check it out. Over there! Illuminati confirmed. What in the world is that? There's something mysterious about it. Mystical, even. Still, no sign of Crocodile. I reckon I see something in there. Water's springing up from the ground. Is this... Spring? This crystal looking thing here to protect the spring? That does look that way to me. What's this? That there is a stone tablet. I reckon it's pretty old. It's like there's something written on it though. It's writing. I've seen this before in Mawile's room. Isn't this foot shaped writing ancient writing? <laughs> It sounds so silly when you read it out. Ancient foot shaped? Who's on the what now? Someone got a foot kink? That came from an ancient time period? Ancient writing. This looks really tough to decipher too. I can read it. Really can. Can you? Really? Yep. You want me to read it for you? Let's see. Should you hope to overcome? Hang on a second. Mawile, a resident archaeologist. Tons of time to decipher that writing. How are you able to stand there and read it like it's no big deal? I have no clue. I couldn't tell you how, but I can read it. Well, I'll be an A-Palms uncle. I reckon we should be grateful that you can read that there writing. You should go on reading. Okay. There are three lines here. Let's see. Should you hope to overcome this crisis? Summon a person. A person will have the power to break the barrier over the spring. We must summon a person from the world of humans. Got that? Summon a person? From the world of humans? I reckon they mean human when they say person, right? We must summon a person from the world of humans. Could it be? That's me. It has to be. And the barrier over the spring must be... This thing, right? It says a human can break the barrier here. And that other one? Where do you hope to overcome this crisis? Summon a person. Now when you think on it for a spell, this is your ancient message. But have you believed that we can save the world if we get a human to break the barrier? At least, I reckon that's what it means. In other words, there's a crisis closing in on us here in our world. Somebody must have known about that there, that there crisis. Called in Harmonia here. Hang on a second. That does sound believable. But this wasn't written recently, right? I left this here for us long, long ago. Why is this happening again in our time? When Arkin took out the expedition gadgets. Hello, your computer has virus. Prehistoric ruins expedition team here. Do you read? Dene. Good I'll pursue team here. Dene, are you alright? Yeah, don't worry about us. We're all fine. Weren't you attacked by something? Yeah, but it looks like it was just a misunderstanding on their part. A misunderstanding? Yeah. And the Pokemon who attacked are guardians of these ruins. They were just trying to protect the ruins. They thought we were here to raid the ruins for treasure, so they attacked us. I don't know if the, my microphone picked up my wrist breaking there, but as soon as we explained the purpose of our expedition, they understood. Is that right? That's a relief. We were worried when we lost contact with you. Sorry about that, Kalexos. We didn't have time to talk. Oh, and one more thing. We learned something amazing from these Pokemon here at the ruins. They told us. What did you just say? There's a way to bring Pokemon back from being turned to stone? Yep. If you have some special water called Luminous Water, it seems you can bring Pokemon back from being turned to stone. And you're really not going to believe this. Where you're at right now. Revelation Mountain. 
is apparently where that water is sealed away. Sealed water on Revelation Mountain? What do you mean? The pure water. The spring water. I wanted to inform you as soon as we found out. I intend to contact the chief right after this. Well, good luck. Beep boop. First we'll have the power to break the barrier over the spring. So they say. Oh yeah. This crisis they mentioned must be the turning to stone incident. Someone must have summoned Harmonia to save us from it. it. Must have been someone who knew about the turning to stone crisis long ago. Well, all right. Harmonia can break this barrier. We can get some of that water. Might be able to bring back all of the Pokemon that turned to stone. Let's do this, Harmonia. Break the barrier. Is that why I came to this world? Still can't remember anything, so I'm not too sure about this. It does say that a human can break the barrier, but I don't have any idea how I'm supposed to do that. What? You don't know how to break the barrier? Well, I wonder. Yeah, I can't imagine you would know. Maybe you should just try? Could just try touching it. Uh, you there! Crocodile! Well, here he comes! Let's get it closer. Stay calm, everybody. He's gonna turn us to stone! What do we do? Who dis? I don't remember. Stop! It was you! You turned Ente to stone! Who's there? Ma, ah, there is a weird fucking cat outside. Who are you, Pokemon? Suicune the Gale. Raikou the Lightning. We have come to avenge Entei. Well, I did not see this coming. Raikou and Suicune are legendary Pokemon, just like Entei. They must be after whoever turned Entei to stone. These two share a connection with Entei. They're friends on Facebook. Now, hold your pony, sir. This here's our chance, ain't it? Chance? Oh, yeah. You can break the barrier while they're all distracted. Right. Now, once we have that water, we won't have to worry about being turned to stone. Harmonia. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> well, being something. I think I heard him say this was part of the deal or something. If we get turned to stone, we won't be able to come back. And a deal. Where's the money? Deal? Money? Harmonia! Get that their barrier open! We won't be able to come back if we don't get that spring water! Right. But why do I have such a bad feeling about this? Your opponent is us! Something is wrong. Is it? Harmonia, what are you doing? Hurry! What's happening? Did it! There goes the barrier! Turning to stone isn't scary anymore since we have this spring water. You don't scare me anymore, crocodile! Spring water? What are you talking about? I don't care about that. I just want my money! We had a deal! I dropped those warnings just like you asked. Came all the way out here today because you told me to, too. Right, Nuzleaf? Huh? Nuzleaf? I reckon the time has come. Finally, I broke the barrier. The barrier over the spring. Now we can become invincible. You done good, Crocodile. I reckon you've earned your reward. 
Now, this was a twist I never saw coming when I first played this. What's happening? Can I'll turn to stone? The culprit behind all these Pokemon being turned to stone. It was me. I'm the one that turned all them Pokemon to stone. Nothing did it. Ammonia. I reckon I feel bad about tricking you this whole time. All of this started when you lost your memory. And I lost my memory? So you're to blame for what happened to Entei. Still have to watch out for him turning us to stone. Maybe we can overwhelm him with numbers. So just stand there, Klexos. Do something. Uh, okay. Harmonia. You're the closest to the spring. The four of us will take on Nuzleaf. That's spring water while we keep him busy. Got it. Scoop it up with my hands. I will not allow it. Are you? I am the one called Yviltal. This is your end. You shall become energy for us. I don't know how to make a sound like that. Well, wow, Luigi. That's odd. It's wrong to deny. I can't seem to get hold of Arkin and the others. I was just talking to him a minute ago. Their gadgets should be in working order. I wonder if something happened to them. Hmm? What's up with them? The guardians of the ruins. And then BHM did their part by now. Well played, Nuzleaf. Luminous water can bring back Pokemon who have been turned to stone. Pose a threat to our ambitions. On the other hand, if we just get us some of this water right here, we can be invincible. The time of our reign has come to this world. This planet. This world. I'm actually going to save and return to menu and then restart the game. This is what I think I'm going to do here. You had a great adventure today. You should rest up before you play more. Now that you've been turned to stone and all that. Yeah. Just take a just take a little bit of a break. Go rest up. Everyone dead. No worries. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll continue. Is the line supposed to look black, or is that the emulator being weird again? What's this then? All of a sudden, it got so dark. Oh, what is that? Consider this a warning to all Pokemon in this world. I am Yviltal. I am the one true destroyer. I am an end to Pokemon. Destroyer. An end to Pokemon. Allow me to demonstrate. Now I shall send all Pokemon in this world to the void. Just snatch away all the ener the energy of all Pokemon. I mix up my words sometimes, but never you mind that. Wha what? What? It is already too late for you to possibly escape. No matter where you are in the world. No matter how far you run. 
I shall hunt you down, and you will become nothing. Prepare yourselves for the coming of my wrath. Tremble before the great terror that I unleash, you stupid fish. Feel the unending despair that I shall bring to the world. So, Quiltil and Nuzleaf's attacks turning Pokemon to stone began. Many Pokemon in places all over the world were turned to stone. A few days later, here on the summit of Revelation Mountain. It really is all dried up. Sucked out all the luminous water with their bendy straws. Well, well, well. I think that Harmonia was the key to it all. The first mention of the human world. I should have pondered it more deeply. How foolish I was. There's nothing to be done about it. We had no information to go on. Maybe we were a little too, a little late. Now we have to consider everything we learned about Harmonia to be, to be progress. What? To be progress. I, I know I've played this game before, but I don't think I've seen this figure of speech before. Is that meant to say to progress? We have to consider everything we learned about Harmonia to progress, to be progress. We lost contact with the team that went to the prehistoric ruins too. We have to assume they were also turned into stone. What should we do, Amphros? We may be the last members of the Expedition Society. Welcome back, Esper. How are things in the village? Not good. Everyone was turned into stone. I'm the only one left. Get it. Do now. Certainly at a loss here. It's okay. We'll figure something out. Really? I learned a lot thanks to your contacting us with your telepathy, including the events that took place here. Of course, there is still much we do not understand. So our expeditions must continue. Confrontation with the Avelta will have to wait until we have learned more. Okay, we will save them. Everyone in Serene Village. Harmonia, Plexus, and the others too. Esper, I count on you to help us. I've got no place else to go. You're going to save everybody, Mr. Amphros. I believe in you. Please, let me help you. Thanks, Esper. This may not be the best situation right now. We'll make a comeback somehow. Let's have to wait for our chance. Let's not let it slip away when it comes. To be progress is either a mistranslation or a really archaic way of speaking. Yeah, sounds like. Yeah, I guess I'll save and continue here. I swear if it says you had a really great adventure today. <laughs>